What's poppin' my boys? So I kind of stopped doing videos like this in a sense where I just kind of talk about stuff. But if it pertains to stuff that I really like, I still do this kind of stuff. So screw you. <laughs> but anyways, so um, a couple weeks ago, I don't even know what when it was, but it was like a week ago. Bandai Namco uh, uploaded a trailer for some mysterious, mysterious game in. I don't even remember what the heck it what the name of the th freaking video was, but it was it was just supposed to be a uh, teaser trailer for a brand new game coming out or a brand like like name series whatever you want to call it that was going to be coming out. And so just uh, the other day, today I don't even know when this is going out. Regardless, the 18th of uh, April, they finally have now announced its name and giving it giving us some uh, information on it. So actually, the reason why I'm making this video on this game is because it's a game being made by the God Eater team. And the project team leader, Yusuke Tamizawa, is actually going to be heading this game and the brand new God Eater game that we all know about and have been, you know, wondering, still trying to figure out what the heck's going on with it. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I find some type of push to talk about it with y'all you know what i'm saying so let's go ahead and read the read this gamut Sue post and try to figure out what's going on i already read it but i'm gonna let y'all know if y'all haven't seen it yet because you know what i'm saying if it's made by the people of god eater so you know I'm, I'm interested to see what's going on but it looks like it's taking a whole new route but anyways let's go into it so it says the latest issue of weekly from it reveals code vein a new dungeon exploration type hard action rpg from bandai namco bandai namco developed by the team behind god eater it is due out in 2018 for unannounced platforms now before we continue uh let's talk about the platforms just real 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 quick it's going to be it's, it says it in this post but it's going to be using unreal engine 4 now in the cons of of, in the comments of this game two post people are trying to speculate of if of a vita release and they're talking about oh unreal engine 4 isn't compatible with vita but some people are also saying that there's another bloodstained i think is also being possibly ported using unreal engine 4 i don't know but it looks like there's a lot of controversy on whether unreal engine 4 is compatible on the vita now that i'm not too sure of so if y'all know that anything like that let me know in the comments below because that is a is a big factor of knowing whether this will hit the vita or not uh, so yeah, let's continue. So it says Code Vein was first teased via a short video last week. An official world reveal is set for April 20th. So April 20th, uh, well, I might also follow up, have another follow up video for that. So yeah, look up, look out for that. It says the game is set in a near future where everything has gone to ruin. Sounds familiar? Yes. <laughs> Players are revenants, vampires that possess possess supernatural abilities that will take on the truth of the world while working together with allies. In order to survive, Revenants live in an isolated society called Vane. The Revenant is, is a being that has transcended humanity, but as a result has, mo has lost most of their memories. What? A Revenant who is short on blood will turn into a monster called a Lost. So I'm not sure if we're Revenants, like if we're the ones, I think we are because we're supposed to be vampires and a little, yeah, I think so, I think so, whatever. So it says, one of the main features of Code Vane is the buddy system. When exploring dungeons, you can bring a single partner along. Revenants mainly use close range weapons such as great swords and one handed swords. Other weapons such as spears and hammers also exist. Here are a pair of key terms Blood Veil, Veal, Veal, yeah. The Blood Veal is a Revenant original piece of equipment that sucks up the blood of lost. It is usually shaped like clothing and functions as armor. Okay, a dedicated mechanism appears at the time of blood sucking and the user's mask sees an ominous change. So I feel like it's an armor that will react to the, like the body of it. So say say they're about to suck somebody's blood, the, the mask will do something, change it around, I don't know, and do something. Very, it sounds very, very like, not vamp vampiric, like it reminds me of Frankenstein, like the story of Frankenstein. <laughs> anyway, it says special ability, tempered blood. An action that can be triggered after a successful blood sucking attack via the blood veil, and that depends on the blood obtained from the loss. There are a number of variations such as strengthening yourself, weakening enemies, and direct attack. So I have all this kind of stuff, it doesn't really make sense to me, but obviously special ability, I'm guessing that's going to be abilities you're going to have as a character. Um, RPG, you'll probably have power ups, new new special moves, there's probably going to be multiple special abilities, you'll be able to unlock them, probably going to be a skill tree of some sort, and the whole idea of it said, uh, what is a buddy system, 
um, someone in the comments of the game, so I'm not gonna take credit for thinking about this, but someone said some sounds similar to the AIs for Freedom Wars. And if you, I mean, part of the team that made God Eater also made Freedom Wars. So this, hold up. Yeah, I even forgot about that. I even forgot about that. But you see, God Eater's name kind of got resurrected. Like it's whole, the whole series got has been resurrected. So they wouldn't say Freedom Wars, which is kind of unknown in a sense. So definitely. So, but that sounds, that sounds familiar. And if I just, now that I'm thinking about it, Freedom Wars, also god eater people had a play in that so oh sounds interesting so then it says staff working on the project includes producer keta izuka director hiroshi yoshimura and project team leader yusuke tamizawa now i actually want to look at the people behind freedom wars to see if one of these people are part of that as well that would be very interesting to see if y'all want to do that if anyone knows that, I'm probably gonna do it. Doesn't matter. Anyway, <laughs> it says development. Development is currently 35% complete. A trailer will be revealed shortly, likely when the game is officially announced on April 20th. And I really hope they show us gameplay because what other game? Um, um, for example, Star Wars Battlefront 2. They have not showed us any gameplay yet, and the thing is, like, that's the big ass factor because Battlefront 1 was just some hot booty, but people are obsessing over it just because it's a story mode now and a single play. Bitch, I don't care about Star Wars. I play, I mean, okay, that sounds bad. <laughs> I kind of do, but I'm not that big of a fan of it. I just loved Battlefront 2 on the PS2, so that shit was just the truth. I'm off topic. <laughs> and so actually, there is a more for information about it. It says the game is being made as a new challenge on a separate development line from the God Eater series. Regarding whether it's related to God Eater, Izuka said we are developing it as a new title that offers a new game experience. I feel like that's kind of what Freedom Wars was. Um, but the issue is that one only targeted the PlayStation Vita and that was the downfall of its life. So tragic, man. So freaking tragic. Vain refers to the English word vain. <laughs> Maybe I'm pronouncing one of them wrong. I don't know. And then it says code is code. Like what? <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But anyways, the impression here is codes of blood. Uh, the title implies there is a hidden truth in the closed world plays will explore. Vain. Okay. <laughs> the name of the game, the name of the genre is Dramatic Exploration Action RPG. The exploration action RPG genre has players tensely exploring seamlessly connected areas on foot, which offers a great sense of accomplishment. The team put a lot of thought into how it could improve on that form formula. So I've actually just recently, be, I haven't played a whole lot of it, but Tales of Berseria, um, it's this, I don't know why, as soon as I hear that, I kind of think of the, when it says, uh, uh, exploring seamlessly connected areas on foot that just remind me of tales of Berseria type of exploring so maybe that's what we can look forward to now i don't it says art i don't know i don't know action rpg so i don't think like because tales of Berseria is like is like half action and half turn based so um maybe Berseria is not like that but i don't know i don't even know what the heck tales of Berseria is i really don't know what combat that is it, it's 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 interesting and i don't even understand it because I like i said i've not played a whole lot of it but what all I'm saying is whenever I read that that one paragraph, it just reminds me of Tales of Azaria. And it says, by traveling with a buddy, you can overcome great challenges that you might give up on if you are playing a highly difficult game on your own and a feel and feel a greater sense of accomplishment. Now, in Freedom Wars, the AIs or buddies, whatever you want to call them, the accessories, they were pretty useless. The only thing they were useful for is reviving you if you died in a mission. That's about it. And sometimes, you know, they would put some damage on people. I feel like they're even more useful in freaking PvP. I swear to God, because it's like actual enemies. Like, it's not bosses with a lot of health. So, uh, I just... I don't know i'm getting off topic again. it says buddies act on their own but it will also be an assess a necess a necessary for the player to take action to help their buddy literally sounds exactly like freedom wars because they act on their own but if honestly like it would make a big difference if they were alive or dead you know what i'm saying it would definitely make a big difference you feel like they're not doing much they kind of are and then it says the game's engine is Unreal Engine 4. They can't, they still can't say which platforms it will support. It will support, but it will be released for console. So that's like saying, okay, regardless, it's not going to be a only handheld game. And it says a gameplay trailer will be released in early May. Okay, well, I was hoping for April, so we're still going to see a bunch of just art for it. But early May, we're already almost in May. Like, don't even trip. Like, we're almost in May. We just got about two weeks left, so not even an issue. And it says, this is a Japanese title aiming for a worldwide release as team leader Tommy, as team leader Tamizawa will oversee both God Eater and Code Vein. Oh, this, the name of the game is Code Vein. I didn't even realize that. I literally just, I was kind of like overseeing that. Anyway, so that is the new game. Very interesting um, from the people that brought us God Eater. So, 
hopefully i hope i say this all the time i say this all the time hopefully the combat ain't anything like god eater or, or not 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 anything like it just i hope it's it's more refreshing in the sense that i'm not, it, it says areas on foot so i think already you're not gonna have to keep going back from the town going back in this in the field back 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 hopefully it's not like that you know hopefully it's just like a like i said tales of brasilia because literally that's all it reminds me of when i think of this but maybe the combat will be a little bit different and since it's coming from the people of god eater you already know the story will be pretty interesting so looking forward to it Anyways, let me know what y'all think about that, about this uh, coming out, or about Code Vein. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, but other than that, uh, I guess that's all I gotta say. I mean, it, it's not much for me to speculate because, like I said, there's not a whole lot that we I can go off of. But off of the description, I'm already I'm already intrigued because one RPG and two guiders, uh the developers. So and it says dungeon exploration type. So again, like I said, it's not the uh, hunter type. For god eater so already it's not going to be anything like god eater but i'm very excited to see what they can they can do because freedom wars you know what i'm saying the, the god eater devs got their hands on freedom wars and that shit was ridiculously lit like that was like their modern time game in a sense like that's one of the most modern games i feel like um and that shit was lit so having bring them having letting them have another chance at something else on console this time hopefully this shit will be will prosper you know what i'm saying it'll get the prosper it deserves but i'm actually really really excited because even that short video we saw it was really interesting it was really cool um so yeah other than that let me know what y'all think let me know what y'all think about this uh, i will link this post so y'all can read it for yourself so you don't just gotta listen to me but i just wanted to talk about it real quick i i'm actually really excited and i'll probably be covering this as it goes on uh, i just always i just always latch on the niche titles i feel like but it does, doesn't matter it doesn't matter anyway other than that uh like i said i'll see you all in the next video all right all right peace you see i'm waiting and they hating and i'm sipping on my tea bad bitch walking past may i stop you please and i'm hungry as a bitch but this life ain't free life ain't if free. i'm trying to get this money i can't really shake a tree i'll be working i'll be working it's a quarter past three when i stop